Hello everyone and welcome. This is Christine with Powder Crafts. Today I'll be making four cards, one from each of the mini collections in the May 2020 Flavor of the Month card kit by Scrapping for Less. The theme for this month is let's encourage one another. So I have all of my collections out and I have printed off the May 2020 Flavor of the Month card sketches. If you are interested in printing off your own copy of the card sketches, they are found on the Scrapping for Less website under their Downloads tab. So I am using Collection 1, which is called Love Big, and I am using Sketch Number 4. So Collection 1 has this really fun Bigfoot stamp. This is by Scrapping for Less, and the stamp set is called Benny the Bigfoot. The pattern paper in this collection is called Love Big. So I have all my pieces of pattern paper cut out, and I did kind of go back and forth with if I should mat them or not mat them. Um, but uh, whenever I put a circle in something, I'm always less apt to mat something because cutting a circle by hand to make a really nice mat, um, I find to be a little on the difficult side and I only have a few circle dies and, um, I don't, I use the biggest one for this. So I did not mat anything. On this chalk heart sticker by Sticko, which comes in the stamp set, I stamped the sentiment, love big. I did have to cut it and I stamped it out with some black ink. I wasn't sure if I liked the way that looked and it did take quite a while to dry. So I also wrote it just by hand there with a white gel pen, put them both aside and I'll figure out what I wanna use as I put the card together. So I grabbed the grout gray cardstock from the kit and I'm going to go ahead and put all of my pattern piece parts down. I am going to put Benny up on some foam tape because why not? I love to add foam tape to my cards. So as I look at the two different hearts, I really prefer the one with the white and that is what I put on there. Clearly. <laughs> so adding just a strip of pattern paper to the bottom to kind of decorate the inside a little. And then I'm going to bring in the foot image from the stamp set that I have already colored and cut out with my scan and cut. No card is complete without some sparkle. This is the Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. And I do add some glossy accents to the heart on his chest. So that will be it for card number one. Card number two is collection two. And for this one, I use sketch two. And the name of this collection is Easy Peasy. The pattern paper and the stamp in this set are both from Scrapping for Less and they are both called Easy Peasy. I loved this stamp set more after I used it than before I used it. I got it, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. It's lemons, perfect for summer. But then when I started like coloring them and um, pulling out the pattern paper, I really fell in love. I think this is my favorite collection um, from all four. So for this one, I do decide to mat this little strip. And I'm kind of choosing, do I want to use the same color as the card base or do I want to use yellow? And I end up using yellow. So I'm kind of measuring everything. And then you know how I love to measure. So I end up just leaving my piece of paper that um, I over that yellow cardstock. So I knew where to cut. That just worked so much easier for me than to try to figure out how big the piece was because it wasn't exact. I didn't want to cut it. Anyway, it was a whole it was a whole ordeal. And we all know how much I love to measure. So wrapping some of the yellow twine that we cut that we get in this collection to the very top. So I add it around a few times using some washi tape to hold that in the back. And then I'm just going um, in 
with another piece of the twine and making a bow. This is the easiest way for me to make a bow using the twine is just kind of wrap it around and then tie a bow to my wrapped around pieces. So once that's set, we're gonna go ahead and score the card base. This is the blue raspberry card stock from the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and add my main panel. Trim a little bit right there off because it wasn't quite um, the way I wanted it. Adding some foam tape to this fun little strip. And we'll go ahead and add that right there to the left as shown in the um, card sketch. Now I'm going to work on the oval piece. So I, I want this oval piece to be, I want it to stand up out a little bit from the blue polka dot one, but I don't want it to be busy like that strip there to the left. So this piece worked out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment from the stamp set. It says easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna pull in the lemons that I had already cut and die cut. And here I'm just kind of deciding what I want to use because the stamp set comes with the lemon, the lemon slices, the um, a lemon flower. <sighs> I looked that up too to see how they were supposed to be colored, but I I. Um, don't know if there's a particular name for it. I should have paid better attention. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add foam tape to just half of it because half of it will be on the strip that was already popped up on foam tape. So I just need to pop up the other half. We're going to go ahead and put that down. So I decided on the one lemon in the middle and the flower right up at the top. Going to bring in the enamel dots and we're just going to add three of them right onto our oval panel. And we're gonna bring in our splitter again. For the inside of this card, I am just grabbing um, a white cardstock. These are my inside pieces. I already have them pre-cut. They sit in a pile next to my desk. So I always grab them when I'm using colored cardstock for the inside panel. Again, just adding a strip of pattern paper to the bottom and then one of those lemon slices. And we're bringing the glossy, um, glossy accents in again for that little lemon part on the flower. Collection number three is so bright and my niece is going to love it because she's really into rainbows right now. Or last I knew she was into rainbows. You never know with five-year-olds. <laughs> they tend to sometimes change their mind. But I thought of her the whole time making this card about how bright and fun these colors are and how much I thought she might enjoy them. So I am using sketch number three for this collection. Sketch number three is a uh, square card. I did not have, I pre-cut all my card ba care bases from the card stock in the kit and I just cut them all in half to make a two size card. So I do go into my stash and I get some black card stock to make the square card. I just cut it at five by 10 and um, score at five. And I generally tend to make top folding cards. So I thought it would be fun to bring in the stencil from the banana split pack. This is raindrops and cloud stencil. So you'll see it has raindrops on one side, some clouds on the other. You also get the bottom half, which is um, kind of goes together. I really liked how it was a little bit separate. Adding the embossing powder from Stampendous that I received in my kit, um, the banana split portion of it, in the um, in, on the ingredients sheet, it does say random. So you may get the same color or you may get a different color. I thought this would be really fun because in the stamp set, there is a sentiment I want to use for this. And this particular card, it says, after every storm, there is a rainbow. So I thought these raindrops would be perfect. So I do end up cutting the raindrops with a circle die, matting that on some black ink, and then I'm putting together all of my pieces. I did mat all of my pattern paper with black cardstock, which I really thought just made everything pop, and I'm, I just love it. Um, I do end up skipping a little bit of the video where I got so excited I forgot to go back in and write, you know, hit the record button. But for the most part, um, you see the process. 
you just don't see me putting on the rainbow, the sun, and the clouds. The rainbow I had colored, um, you know, just stamped out with some Copic friendly ink and colored the colors of the rainbow. The sun, I, the outer part of the sun is solid, so I stamped that with yellow ink and then filled it in with some Copic markers. The clouds, I had added some um, cool gray, like C1, to the outside, and then I added stickles to the whole cloud to make it sparkly. So for the last card, this is collection four, and this collection is called Little Lady, and I'm using sketch number one. The pattern paper and the stamp set for this collection is called Little Lady. Originally, I was going to use the Wild Cherry card dock that we received in the kit, but I wanted to use that red and black polka dot paper for my main panel, and um, I thought a black card base would make that pop even more. So I went into my stash and grabbed a black card stock for my card base instead. So now I'm just trimming down my paper. The nice thing with collect or um, sketch number one is they, um, and when I say they, I say scrapping for less, they have the um, dimensions there for you. So there's really not a lot of guessing. I kind of change up the sketch just a little bit. It's not exact. I move the strip um, down a little. I'm tying some of the thread, the red crochet thread over the top. I do struggle here to make a bow and then I decide to just make a knot instead. I didn't have enough there and it was just not working. Um, for me to make a bow. So I just tie a knot and trim it down a little bit. I'm gonna pop this up on some foam tape. And once that's on, I'm gonna take a look at the ephemera. So in the video, it kind of shows, or in the video, I'm sorry, on the sketch, it kind of shows a circle right above where I kind of put the leaves. And it says sentiment, but I decided I'm gonna put the little leaves here and then use this flower. Once I put those down, I decide to use the ephemera ladybug instead of the ladybugs that I had colored and die cut. Just because I think the size of that ladybug just fit a little bit better with everything that was kind of going on in this card. So in the end, I stick with the larger ladybug right there. So we're going to go ahead and just adhere that directly on because that little piece has already popped up on foam tape. So I'm going to add that to my card base, grab a white inside piece where I'm going to again add another strip of pattern paper in one of the ephemera pieces. Now I did try using this um, glitter brush on the ephemera and it just kind of pulled up. So it doesn't look like it normally would. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't cover everywhere you actually touch the brush to. It kind of pulls up a little bit in the middle. Also, I'm adding here in the middle, it says you are awesome. That is the stamps from the collection. I kind of made them staggered because I didn't want to take the time to try to line them all up. I do end up adding three enamel dots right here to the corner just to give a little more interest to that side of the card. So thank you so very much for joining me today. If you're interested in the card kit, I will leave a link to Scrapping for Less in the description below. If you'd like to hop along with us, I'll leave a link to my blog hop also in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more and you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. But until next time, Bye.